From cats landing on their feet to zebra stripes and black panthers, here are 13 Animal Mysteries Explained. Hey guys, it's your host for today, American Eye. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to Tall Tannic, and if you like today's content, be sure to check out my channel, American Eye. We'll see you there. The Canine Circle Dance Let's start with a mystery that's probably familiar to any dog owner. You probably notice how your pet pooch will carefully walk in circles before snoozing. The behavior has been passed down to them from prehistoric times. Their wild dog ancestors would stamp the grass or brush to make a nest in which to sleep. Snakes, insects, or other pests would have been driven out of the area as well. Experts say the nest also serves as a way of marking their territory to keep other dogs away. And Suicide Spiral at first, it seems as if army ants are performing a type of suicide ritual when they form in a continuously rotating circle. Because they're blind, the insects will follow the pheromone trail of the main foraging party to reach their nests. But if the insects lose that scent, they'll start following the ant directly in front of them, which forms a huge spiral of ants known as an ant mill. The ants will continue marching around in a loop until dropping dead from exhaustion. The largest ant mill discovered was 1,200 feet or 370 meters in diameter. It took each ant about two and a half hours to complete a full circle. Experts say the behavior is a side effect of how the creatures self-organize their colonies. Herbivores Gone Carnivore Seemingly confirmed herbivores like sheep and cows have been known to make meals out of their fellow farm comrades if their food is low in nutrients. Farmers have noted that cows will sometimes eat chickens. We found a case in India where a cow feasted on 50 of the birds. What causes such a drastic change in appetite? When the herbivores are unable to gain various minerals like phosphorus or calcium from vegetation, they'll consume meat to compensate for their deficiency. Birds often seem to be on the menu too. Moo North Our bovine friends all face the same direction when they eat, and they'll turn in the same direction simultaneously, but they'll only face in a north to south direction. That's true regardless of how the wind blows or where the sun is positioned. This phenomenon was discovered as German scientists were studying satellite photos of cows using Google Earth. The north-south behavior has also been noted in other large mammals such as deer. Scientists have an idea of how the cows do this because they're so sensitive to Earth's magnetic field. Other animals have exhibited this sensitivity, and there's evidence to suggest that humans share it as well. Firebirds Black kites are medium-sized birds of prey found throughout tropical areas of Eurasia and Oceania, and they become linked to forest fires because they'll fly in towards the smoke and flames to zero in on an escaping prey. In Australia, there's a belief among the indigenous people that the birds actually help spread fires by picking up burning twigs and letting them fall on dry grass. And it looks like there's some research to back that up. No wonder why these critters are nicknamed the Firehawks. Where do Gorilla Gorilla come from? Hanno the Navigator was a Carthaginian explorer of the 5th or 6th century BC. He's best known for exploring the western coast of Africa. During his travels, it is documented that he met various indigenous people, not all of whom welcomed him. At the time of Hanno's voyage, he and his crew encountered a strange people that were described as hairy savages. They were nimble enough to climb atop trees and hurl rocks at the sailors below. According to accounts, the crew managed to capture a couple of these individuals, but they were so ferocious that they were actually eventually killed and the remains were taken back to Carthage. The ship's interpreters referred to this group as Gorile. That term inspired the scientific name of Gorilla Gorilla for the western species when they were first described in 1847. Red Bulls Of course, you are familiar with the sight of a matador holding a small red cape as he provokes a bull into charging at him. More often than not, we bought into the misconception that the bull is angered by the cape's color. But the red doesn't upset the big beast any more than any other color because they're colorblind. It's the size and the motion of the cape that gets them agitated. The cape is thought to be colored red as a way to mask the animal's blood. Are drop bears for real? Australia is well known for its extensive variety of wildlife, much of which can be deadly. While deadliness is a description rarely linked to koalas, it does perhaps pertain to the drop bears. They're described as big, carnivorous versions of koalas. Their hunting strategy often involves falling or dropping down from eucalyptus trees and crashing onto the heads of their unsuspecting victims. Once the prey is knocked out, the drop bear proceeds to feed upon them with its molars and razor-sharp claws. Proof of their existence seems to be provided by the Australian Museum, which lists drop bears as a species of predator marsupial on their website. But the entry is only a tongue-in-cheek reference to a fictional creature. Drop bears are still usually invoked as a way to frighten or amuse tourists. Still mind the trees if you venture to Oz. 
How can animals predict earthquakes? You've probably heard of how animals, including dogs, have the ability to somehow sense the onset of earthquakes. And in some cases, they can sense trouble up to a week in advance. The phenomenon has been documented since 373 BC in ancient Greece, when it was noted that weasels, rats, snakes, and centipedes would evacuate an area just days before an earthquake took place. Researchers think that certain animals can sense changes in the Earth's magnetic field before an earthquake strikes, or they might also be sensitive to changes in electrical fields or groundwater. Were there mythological dinosaurs? Griffins are described as creatures as having the eagle's head, body and talons, and the tail, body, and hind legs of a lion. It was considered to be especially powerful since the eagle was viewed as the king of birds and the lion was viewed as the king of all beasts. Throughout history, they've been linked to guarding gold and other treasure. While these hybrid lion birds are mythological, there could be a factual basis for them. And that's where dinosaurs come in. There's evidence to suggest that the fossilized skeletons of beak dinosaurs like Protoceratops could have partially influenced the idea that the griffin exists and its likeness. They're relatively small dinos that measured about 6 feet long, or 1.8 meters, and weighed less than 400 pounds, or 180 kilograms. It's possible that in the 7th century BC, nomads in Central Asia uncovered their well-preserved fossils which sparked the idea of the legendary griffin. The theory is under debate, but Protoceratops did have a pronounced beak that could be described as eagle-like. What do you think? Cats always land on their feet. The felines are noted for this ability, but how do they do it? Experts say the height of the fall plays a big role in determining whether or not they can land without injury. Cats possess an innate ability to reorient their bodies during freefall. It's a process known as the riding reflex. Thanks to that, felines that fall from farther distances, like more than five floors, have a better chance of surviving than those animals that only fall a few stories. The longer freefall gives the animal more time to ride their body and safely land on their feet. Why do zebras have stripes? There are only three living species of zebras, and all of them have stripes. For a long time, it was debated whether these animals were colored black with white stripes or white with black stripes. Researchers say that all species are black in coloration. The white stripes are considered to be a type of add-on, so that's one mystery solved. But the reason why these beasts have those stripes has not been yet definitively determined. There are some theories though. The stripes could be used as a type of motion dazzle camouflage. When zebras are grouped closely together, predators may only see a single mass of flickering stripes. That would certainly make it difficult to pinpoint a solitary target. The stripes are also said to be unique to each zebra, similar to a human fingerprint. So could it be a way for them to identify one another? And number one, the mystery of the Black Panther. Is the Black Panther a species of cat unto itself? It's more correct to say that they are two species of big cat that are melanistic. An overabundance of the dark pendant melanin results in the animal's dark, sleek appearance. But it's a variant of two well-known felids, jaguars and leopards. In Africa, the Black Panther is a melanistic leopard. In the Americas, it's a melanistic jaguar. Sometimes the spots, or rosettes, of the particular species can be detected if you look closely enough. 